Hi, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Little thought for the evening. I believe God is saying that he really wants you to lay it to rest. Bury it. Toss it in the trash of forgetfulness. Because sometimes things from way behind us, things from back in the day, even if it's 20 or 30 or even 40 years ago, can be eating us alive. Now, we don't always deal with emotions. We don't always deal when it comes to broken relationships or things that frustrate us or things that annoy us just to think about what that means or what that indicates is you're not healed. That's number one. Number two, it's very possible you may never have forgiven in that situation. Listen, if the person is dead, if the person is out of touch, and if the person doesn't give a hoot and never apologizes, you can still forgive. And the reason I say that is because God enabled me and still enables me to forgive every single offense, every single person who has hurt me deeply, some who have hurt me repeatedly over years, like family members, words, actions, lack of actions, I'm all kind of things that we wish we had gotten and did not and felt like they did not want to give. And we spent half our childhood asking what's wrong with me. And some of us, like I did, spent half my adulthood saying what's wrong with me. So we really need to go to God. I'm going to tell you, there are some people, some wounds, some offenses that you will never be able to forgive. But check it out before you turn me off. If you ask God, there is no offense that you cannot forgive if you've asked God for his help. Sometimes you have to ask him, Lord, help me Forgive Brother Appleseed. Help me forgive Mr. Bumblebee Butt. Help me to forgive my mother, my father, my sister, my brother, my landlord, whatever, my boss, my supervisor. Help me forgive the chick that used to be my best friend, that guy that used to be my best friend, my ace, boom, coon, and he stabbed me in the back. Help me forgive. Even if I don't want to, which in some cases I don't, help me to do your will. Truly forgive in the way you do. Do you hear me? It gets a little touchy. A lot of us really, really don't believe we can get over some things. But I'm here to tell you that you can. You can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth you. With God, all things are possible. Yeah, with man, you know, a whole lot of impossibilities, a whole lot of things that are impossible to us. But with God, all things are possible. His strength is made perfect in our weakness. So what you and I are not able to do, God is able to help you and me in every way, shape, and form to totally forgive, to wipe the slate clean, to move forward, and forget about all that crap. Because that ain't going to do nothing for you right now. But if you forgive, it'll help you grow. The experiences will always help you grow. But you don't want to remain bitter. There's a 
scripture that says, uh, and every root of bitterness springing up defile you, and many thereby be defiled. Well, what that means in a, in a lot of ways, I just braided my hair, so I'm playing with it. But what that means in a lot of ways is bitterness can eat away at your body, your physical body, the cells in your brain, the, the function of your organs. It can eat away at you and cause your body to short circuit because you can begin to burn out from all the emotional scars and all the rehearsals that you play in your mind and all the reviews and, and, and the instant replays and, and, and how you drudge it back up and stir it around and get it to stinking again and the fumes are toxic. And I'm telling you, doctors have confirmed that your body can get very sick from negative pent uh, emotions. Are any of them worth that? I said it before in one of my videos. It's a common expression. It's like taking poison. You're drinking the poison. You're dying from the poison. But the poison, you actually made it for the person that you hate. Now, it's not hurting them. It's only hurting you. They're, they're gone. They're down the road. They have followed the yellow brick road and they're living their life. And here you are eating away, eating away. That's where a lot of ulcers come from. That's where some cancers come from. Old, pent-up, fermented, cancerous emotions. Go to God. Lay that mess to rest, please. It won't do you any good. I don't care if you feel like you have the right, which a lot of us do and did, if you have the right to be angry, if you have the every right to be offended. That's neither here nor there when it comes to forgiveness. Forgiveness, you forgiving them, is God's medicine to you. That brings about healing. If, if you ask God to heal your heart of all the hurts, guess what? Forgiveness opens the door for the floodgates of healing to come in. And you can see that person a year later, a month later, 10 years down the road, and they walk in the room and the normal discomfort, the normal knots that come up in, in your stomach all of that that happens, the lump in your throat and all those emotions that start welling up, they're not there. They're non-existent. Why? Forgiveness, healing. But you have to go to the source of it. Only God, no pill, no psychiatrist, psychologist, no group therapy. <coughs> it can help you understand yourself more, but true, unadulterated healing comes from God alone. Go to him. Get all the medicine he has for you. And it won't cost you a dime. Gotta go. Gotta call. Bye.